Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is the paper airplane experiment. Hi, I'm Ripley and welcome back to Kids Fun Science. Today's experiment is with paper airplanes. We have two different models and we're going to see which one flies farther. Please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe as we do appreciate that. Thank you very much. So a little bit about the two different airplane models we're doing is we have the standard weight paper of 20 pounds, 65, 110, and poster board. As you can see, the size of the measurements and the grams. So we made two different models. We called one 66 and model 77. So the numbers will be 2066 or 2077, letting you know the first number is the weight of the paper and the second number is the model number. At the end of this video, I will show you how to make each airplane in case you want to try those yourself. So make a prediction on which airplane is going to go the farthest. Will it be the lighter paper at 20 pounds or it will be the heavier paper like the poster board? This is the smallest plane the 2066. It's a standard weight paper and the model is 66. Okay. See how far this goes. Woo! Right. It's about what, 25? Is the 65 66. It's the 65 weight paper and it's the same 66 model. All right. See how it flies. Perfect. Last one went about 23 feet. Uh, that did not do that. <laughs> no, it didn't. Wait, wait, now. This is the 11066. It's the weight of the paper is 110, and the model, of course, is 66. All right. Let's get it. So let's get a little heavier on the paper. Here we go through. This is P66. P stands for poster board. And obviously, model 66. All right, my prediction is going to be 30 feet. I think it's going to suck. <laughs> oh. oh, 30 on the nose. Woo. I think that's a design flaw because it keeps going right. Ready? Right. Go. This is the 6577. I have hope for this one, but I had hope for yeah. the Yeah, so the low longer design and a heavier weight, and let's see how it goes. Oh, good one. So right in the front. This is the 11077. Weight is 110. Let's see if this can do any better. Alright. 21 feet or so? Yeah. This, okay. Okay. this is the massive P77. Paper poster board 77. Yes, yeah, so the design 77 a little longer. And we're going to give it a throw. And what's your prediction? I think it'll go pretty far. Okay. Um, I'm guessing 35. Probably something around that. All right. Let's go over there and check it out. See what we got. Oh, there we go. Well, that's like 39. Yeah. Woo, 39. So as you can see our final results, the model number 77 came out the, uh, with the farthest flight uh, with the poster board being hence the largest wingspan at uh, 39 feet, 11, almost 12 meters. But overall the model number 77 outdid the 66 in most cases, um, so that would be the better design. So go ahead and give it a try and leave your comments below on how far you're able to throw your paper airplane. Got a good lift. Whoa. Woo. This is our special, special guest. She is my, one of my dogs. She is the seven-year-old Great Pyrenees, and her name is Furiosa. But for short, we just call her Fury. She's super sweet, and you may have seen her when we were throwing the paper planes from the deck. Yes, she did a cameo. Yeah. All right, maybe she'll be in the next one. Maybe. All right. Remember to subscribe and like that's and right hit the post notification thanks for watching bye so the model 77 you start off with folding it in half that's just a marker so you can find the middle there where you're going to fold both down onto the side and then you're going to fold it one more time all the way to the middle and pull it straight make sure it's crisp and then you're going to take the top pull it down about a thumb's length it doesn't have to be a certain distance then fold it again and all the way in half this way, bring your wing all the way down to the middle and do the other side the same and make sure they're crisp and you got the 77. 
For the 66, same thing, make that middle crease in the middle and then fold right onto the side just like we did on 77. But this time we're going to fold down and we're going to come down approximately about a th little over a thumb's length on the bottom. Fold into the middle there, but not like all the way angled. And then fold the middle back up. Now it look like this. We flip it over upside down. And then we're going to fold the wings down to the bottom of the paper, just like this. Make sure a crisp fold, turn it over. And there you got it. That's the 66. Much shorter um, and more tight uh, combo, um, as you can see, our two model numbers.